Hurry, don't you wait. We've got special gifts for Christmas Day. Wrap it up and keep it all a secret. Wrap the Christmas dreams away. Wrap up the seasons. Wrap up the seasons fast. Wrap up your Christmas at the 120 stores. And now Dillard's at Mall of the Bluffs. What's up guys? Welcome back to this video. Today we are here and we are going to be talking about Mall of the Bluffs in Council Bluffs, Iowa. The mall opened in 1986 with over 730,000 square feet of retail space. Although the mall was popular in the 90s and early 2000s, it began a sharp decline in 2010 after JCPenney and Target moved out. The mall finally closed its doors on December 29th, 2019. In 1966, brothers Agely and Irving Gendler began buying land for the new mall. In 1971, John Weebay, the developer of Omaha's first mall, West Roads, began acquiring the land on Highway 6 just east of the I-80 interchange for what was to be known as East Roads. The city, however, had other plans to destroy all of downtown and build a shopping center known as Midlands Mall. The Midlands Mall went ahead and opened in 1976. It closed in 1987, one year after the Mall of the Bluffs opened. After it closed, it was bought out by Dollwall Enterprises, where it opened as Center Point Mall. Center Point Mall closed in 1992 before a bond issue to turn it into a campus for Iowa Western Community College failed. And it was bought by an Omaha realtor and reopened as Omni Center Business Park, which it remains to this day. Now back to Mall of the Bluffs. In 1984, General Growth Properties bought their land and began construction on the new mall. The mall opened October 8, 1986. At its opening, famous balloon artist Treb Heining did the balloons with over 15,000 balloons. Music was provided by the Abraham Lincoln High School Marching Band, and Governor Terry Branstadt was on hand as well. The parking lot had over 3,000 parking spots. The food court had over 350 seats, and the mall had 730,000 square foot of retail space. Dillard's went to the mall in 1988, and Sears went to the mall in 1998. The mall was thriving throughout the 90s and the early 2000s, being a popular hangout spot for teens with over 100 stores. The sharp decline began in 2008 when JCPenney moved out, followed by Target in 2009. Sears, another anchor tenant, moved out in 2012. This left the mall at just 25% occupancy, with the Dillards as the only remaining anchor. The mall went up for auction in 2013 and sold for $8.5 million to Namdar Realty Group. The mall was put up for auction in 2015. In 2018, the former JCPenney store became an overstock store called It's $5. Council Bluffs Community Schools bought the former Target building and turned it into a temporary school while other schools were being renovated. The final anchor store, Dillard's, closed in 2019. In 2019, Menards bought the mall for an undisclosed price. They announced that they would be turning it into a Menards shopping center. The mall's last day open was December 29, 2019. They had an auction to auction off everything inside. I actually went to the auction and bought some stuff. As of now, the mall is completely torn down, except for the old Target building, which is still being used as a school, and the old Sears building which is being used as Planet Fitness and the post office. They are still working on the Menard store. Piles of rubble lay where the dazzling mall once Hurry, stood. Don't you wait. We've got special gifts for Christmas Day. Wrap it up and keep it all a secret. Wrap the Christmas dreams away. Wrap up the seasons. Wrap up the seasons fast. Wrap up your Christmas at the 120 stores and now Dillard's at Mall of the Bluffs.